The Face of Devastation Surrounded by the debris Madison created, she stood alone, confused, lost and saddened. Rising up from her knees, she needed answers. Having nothing or no one around her, she held her spot in the rubble with tears streaming down her face. She tiptoed gingerly through the mess, no longer screaming, What of me? Madison knew she must pull herself together because the world around her was not at a standstill. She had no pain from her markings or the powers inside her, so she ventured her first few steps through the underground facility she destroyed, collecting around her ankles. Looking around, the fallen dust still swirling, she soon saw a few shadows coming from the flattened tree lines from the glow of the moon. Scared, but no longer as fearful as she was minutes ago, she pays attention to the twigs snapping around her and focuses on who or what 